Hi YouTube, it's Mitz. I'm here to do a video on some of the th my favorite things that I like to put in my traveler's notebook. Some of the things that are my favorites when it comes to decorating or when it comes to, uh, I guess, like smashing or collaging in my traveler's notebook. And I have a lot of stuff, so if you want me to go more in depth uh, with a certain, I guess, a, thir a certain category, just please let me know. So first off, uh, for decorating, I love using washi tape and you know there's many purposes for washi tape but um, the main reason for washi tape in my traveler's notebook is to decorate I like um, you know using it as a border and I also like to use washi tape to keep things in place uh, here I use it for decorating uh, here I've used it to use it as a flap so I, I like to use washi tape um, there's these ones, there's the thin ones, and I also like the thick ones, um, for example. The reason why I like these thick washi tape, of course you can use it for borders, and uh, I like these big designs because you can put it on wax paper, and if you fold the wax paper and cut it out, you can use them as stickers. So these ones uh, I got from a washi tape sample that I received from a really special friend and all I did was I stuck it on some folded wax paper, I, I folded some wax paper and I cut out the design and I can use these as stickers. So I do really really enjoy washi tape. Washi tape is probably the most used uh, item in my traveler's notebook as you can see it's everywhere. <laughs> um, so I do love washi tape. The thin this uh, regular kind, the thin kind, these ones with the big designs I really really enjoy. And I guess since we're on the topic of stickers, I really enjoy using uh, stick sticker flakes as well. These are just some sticker flakes, uh, they come in a package. I don't know if you can see the designs, but here are the designs and they they have you know various um, themes going on and I like these because there's so many different varieties of stickers and like similar to these you can just stick them on to decorate to fill in some space um, yeah so sticker flakes are my next on the list of things that I like to put in my Midori Traveler's notebook so the next thing I want to talk about are stamps and I really really enjoy stamps because you can use them so many times and uh, I have these, the silicone, I think they're the silicone ones that you can attach to the acrylic blocks and you can use them uh, many times, whereas stickers, you you know, once you stick it on, you can't really use it for another page or anything. So I really do enjoy stamps. I recommend getting something like this, like an alphabet stamp, where you can create your own words. And I think the, for the people that live in the United States, you guys have a, tar a Target that sells something similar to this. Uh, in Japan, I purchased it at 315 coin. I think it's called 315 coin. And I was able to purchase uh, the alphabet stamp there. And if you can't find a stamp that you enjoy, you can always make your own. <laughs> So these are some of the stamps that I made for myself. I'm not, I'm really just a beginner, so um, I created uh, these stamps out of erasers. I carved them out. You can see it's not really great. <laughs> um, but the one that I really, really enjoy is this one here. And I use this one for dating. So let me show you an example in my traveler's notebook. So for example here, I used it to date, um, I keep track of my dates, here. So these are the ones that I've created so far. As you can see, they're really, it's not really clean, like it's so hard to create a thin line. Um, maybe in the future if I feel confident enough and I've, you know, brushed up on my skills, I will be able to show you how I do it, but I'm so far really enjoying this one here and this one here for dating in my traveler's notebook. I forgot to mention uh, the sticker set um, under the category of stickers. I like these sticker sets and they're similar to like the washi tape 
Uh, you can cut them to different shapes as well if you like. They're already perforated. Uh, there's the large, I don't know if you can see that. There's the large rectangles, the thin strips, and then four circles on the bottom here. So you can use them to decorate the traveler's notebook as well. Masking, masking sticker set. So next on the list that goes with the stamps are inks. Of course, you need ink to stamp. And so far I've used, I really, really like the chalk ink, the Versa Magic chalk ink. Uh, and some people use the Distress ink to kind of ink the back pages. Like the, the pages, the blank pages, and I've tried it and it didn't work out the way I liked it to, so I covered it with some wax paper. But uh, Marianne, pocket full of vintage, she had a really, really great tip. Uh, she had the ink and then she uh, used a sponge to blot her page, and I think I'll definitely try that out in the future. And it's nice because it adds some color to the back. Um, not just a white page, so if you want to add some color, you can try those out. I know I've seen people use uh, I don't know if they're called gelatos or um, they're kind of like a stick and people can just kind of uh, rub, rub the color onto the page so that's something in the future I might look into but for now I just use the Versa Magic and these uh, kind of ink pads that are available next on the list of course are just the basics uh, the tape runners, glue sticks, uh, scissors you know the basics that we need <laughs> for decorating in the traveler's notebook. I like the the thin tip um, scissors because then it's really precise. So I do enjoy these. They're nice and small, and uh, easily portable. And I love love the tape runner. Uh, sometimes the glue stick is hard to get into small corners, uh, but with a tape runner you can easily do that. And so I do enjoy the tape runner journaling cards and the way I use journaling cards uh, I put them in I guess they're called tippins so for example this is one that was created by the beautiful Natasha and uh, she created her own uh, she wrote her own quote and I, I tipped it in here just just as a reminder, uh, like it's so pretty. <laughs> so um, the journaling cards I do use for that. Of course, you can um, cut them out and kind of scrapbook as well uh, in, into your traveler's notebook. But I like to do stuff like this where you can tip it in, uh, and it just kind of adds, you know, more color to your pages. Next are writing devices or decorating or. Decorating, de de decorating pens and pencils, uh, markers, this is a watercolor brush uh, that I like or I mean I, I do like it but I haven't compared it with anything else so I can't say if it's good or bad but so far it's it's been okay and of course just a regular pen this one has four different colors um, if you're interested this is the uni jet stream and I like how it's it's really sturdy so I really enjoy it and it has a pencil in here too this is actually from Daiso this is a really uh, my first I guess my first fountain pen <laughs> and it was from Daiso and it it writes really nicely so I, I like this one as well um, and of course you can use pencil crayons other markers other kind of paints and stuff but so far these are just the basics that I use and that I'm enjoying to in, that I'm enjoying in my traveler's notebook and in relation to writing I really enjoy my travelers I don't know what this is called in English um, it's like a, f a flat like it's a hard piece of plastic so that I can use uh, let me just show you an example of how I use it I just place it on the back of the page so just place it on the back of the page of where I want to write and it creates a hard writing surface uh, on the back side it has lines and it has like a ruler as well on here so you can, you know, I don't know if you can see that, but it has lines and you can easily write <laughs> a straight line if you're having trouble with it. But mainly the purpose, uh, the, the reason why I use this is to create a hard surface uh, for writing. 
And I know some people have just simply cut a piece of plastic on their own, have laminated it. Um, they've printed out a grid like this and laminated it and made their own. So it doesn't necessarily have to be this. Uh, in Japanese, it's called shitajiki. In English, I really don't know what it's called. I'm sorry, uh, but this is something that I really, really do enjoy having uh, with me. Another thing that I enjoy, especially when I'm writing or uh, like journaling in my in my notebook are clips and I use clips to keep the pages held down so it doesn't cause any buckling or um, it just kind of creates a nice flat surface when I'm writing or if I want to do some watercoloring so I do enjoy these uh, types of clips I really like the bulldog clip because you can easily clip on like a pen or anything like that really easily and so it has a multi-purpose the bulldog clip has a multi-purpose use for the in the traveler's notebook and I think that's about it sometimes I use a deco rush to decorate uh, I don't know if you know of deco rush it's just kind of like uh, it's Similar to washi tape, it's just that it's like a decorative tape and you just kind of run run it along. And this one is uh, clovers and they come in different colors. And sometimes I use the decorush, not very often. I usually kind of gravitate towards using my washi tape. You could also use things like stamping uh, cutouts. You can round your corners. I, I don't do that, but you can, you know, round your corners. And this one has a heart. So you can use these kind of punches as well if you want to add a little more spice to your pages. And I think that's about it. Um, you know, stickers like these I like to use. These ones I like to use for, uh, maybe it's hard to see, but similar to washi tape, it kind of adds a border. If I'm, not, if I'm finished with my writing, I can just use one of these stickers to kind of border it off. Um, so I do really enjoy these clear type of clear type of stickers as well, and I think that's about it. Um, if you want me to go into more detail in this uh, for a specific category, like if you want me to explain more on the wash tape stickers or the inks or anything like that, let me know. And um, please let me know what your some of your favorites are for decorating your Midori Traveler's notebook or um, some of your favorites when you're writing in your notebook. I'd really, really like to hear. Maybe I'm missing out on something. So <laughs> um, anyways, thanks again for taking time out of your day to watch my video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you have a wonderful week. Talk to you soon. Bye.